Whoops, some other friend. Whoop, guys, you already know it's the one only with Chocolate, and that means, once again, that it is Friday. And uh, this week's topic of the week was what is the most iconic moment to you in YouTube uh, or in the Juggalo community. And for me, um, I have two of them. And one has been said, like, all this week. Um, and it was the beef between Crazy McCormick and CPN. Um, I was brought in um, due to jurors. Uh, um, and... Uh, the reason why is because I was called um, by by jurors, and he was he told me that you know he said whatever you do you can't say anything. You you have to promise me now that whatever happens in this phone call, you are not going to repeat it to anybody. Okay, I'll bite. What's going on? And out of nowhere. I hear Crazy McCormick and CPN on the other line, uh, on the other end of the phone, and um, I get told that it is all a show, and basically my job was to use my boobs for views, like everybody else on here thinks that I do, which, it's whatever, I mean, but uh, it was to use my ability, the fact that I was the most popular and most watched Juggalette on YouTube, in the YouTube community, and uh, to rake in everybody and get them to start talking. So basically, my job was to talk shit on CPN, which, I mean, a lot of people wouldn't think that it's hard to do. Just call him an asshole. I mean, he's openly admitted that he's an asshole. So, give me some great work. Um... But yeah, it's one of the most talked about and most iconic moments in our community. Um, because it brought everybody together. It literally, even if you couldn't stand Crazy McCormick, and even if you, even if you weren't really a part of the YouTube community, you've never made videos. We've seen people come out of the woodwork that had not made videos in like two years make videos for Crazy McCormick or against CPN. It's because when someone's in trouble, we tend to try and help. And we all seem crazy as the victim. Um, the other one would be the takeover of JOE, the reboot of JOR, and because of all that started Juggalo a Day. Um, my man Jers, he took over JOE, which is for some reason being rebooted, but uh, it was, um, everybody was saying that JOE was going to be shut down and, you know, Blue was going to shut it down and and, uh, Jers decided that he wasn't going to have it. And, uh, he changed the passwords. And him and myself and some of the other people that were on there, you know, worked on it. Until it got hacked and, uh, taken down. And then we started Juggalo's Online Reboot with myself, Hobo Juggalo, uh, Jers, um, I believe somebody else, um, until that one got hacked, and then we started Juggalo a Day. Now, Juggalo a Day, I think, was the start of a lot of other collab channels, too, at that point, because it was something that wasn't under Blue's authority, so everybody was more into it, because after all the controversy that was happening between him and J-O-E, or J-O and J-O-E, and, you know, him wanting all the money from all of them and everything like that, it was the first collab channel that was out of the hands of Blue. And that's why it became so popular. And there was a lot of people that, you know, started collab channels after that. I don't know if you guys remember the For the Wicked Five crew. Um, but, yeah. 
and I don't know if Carnival Spirits was around back then. I I don't know. Don't quote me on it. Please don't get mad at me, Carnival Spirits, because I really don't know. Um, but anyways, another thing, a couple of other things that I will mention that got a lot of big, um, that got a lot of big recognition that had to do with me. Um, it's not, it's definitely not iconic moments. And one of them, I'm definitely not the, one of them, I'm definitely on the fence about, but, um, one of them was the big debate between me and the other person. Um, that got a lot of views. Um, we did a huge debate for, well, and it, it started out as a huge debate and then it ended up being that, uh, it only was like one video, two videos maybe. Um, we just kind of got bored. <laughs> but, uh, and then the other one, of course, for me, because it was a lot of talked about and it was the first real, like, big thing in the Juggalo community, like, relationship-wise, uh, before, um, before, uh, or CPN got with, uh, Aggravated Amanda, um, one of the biggest known relationships on in our YouTube community was myself and was myself and it's Spike here. Um, our relationship was a big blowout in the YouTube community, and uh, it, you know him being from California or them being from California and me being from Michigan. Um, and our big, you know, our big thing of meeting each other, it made all over, you you know, the YouTube uh, Juggalo community. A lot of people were talking about it when uh, he came here in December of that year. And, um, yeah, so, I mean, that's, that's one of the big things that happened with me personally in the Juggalo community. And a lot of people talked about it. But the most iconic moments for me, hands down, is when... JOE got hacked, and of course, the big, huge blowout between Crazy McCormick and CPN. Um, so, and by the way, guys, am, am I showing enough cleavage? I mean, do, do I need more for cleavage views, or what do you guys think? So, just kidding. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, I know that if uh, some people had their way, <coughs> crazy, um... I'd be sitting here in a fucking towel, so. <laughs> Anyways, much motherfucking wicked clown love, guys, and don't forget, always keep it wicked. Enjoy your weekends. Later.